How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of the PvP challenge. Now if you guys are familiar with our old series Spinning Fortunes, this one is going to be very very close to that. We're kind of taking the two and mushing them together. How it's going to work is me and Link are both going to spin the same wheel. There are a bunch of locations, most of them we have done already, so there are a lot of familiar areas. And whichever area we land on, that is where we're going to have to go. I will then spin a wheel for both of us, and that wheel will tell us how long we will spend in that time. It'll be a total of three rounds, so we'll do it three times for three locations each. It'll be completely random on which locations we get, so there is absolutely no planning we could have done. The only planning we have is basically filming that location on the other episodes, but it's dramatically less time, and we don't know what location we're going to get next. And just for the extra challenge, we're going to act as ultimate Iron Man, so we cannot use banks. If we want to bring anything to the next location, we have to make sure it is in our inventory. And then, after three rounds, we have the final fight. So, this one's going to be pretty different, Link. We can't really plan too much, so uh, what are your initial thoughts on this PvP challenge? Well, yeah, you know, you summed it up there, mate. Ultimate Iron Man dropped into a random location that we, we don't even know or have planned for, so this is going to be an absolute... This is going to be stressful. It's it is. Gonna be fucking stressful. It is. And uh, honestly, mate, I, I haven't even started, and I already want to win so bad. <laughs> the thing is, is since you don't know your next location... You don't know if you should save your coins, spend your coins. Mm. Yeah. So there could be a lot of potential mistakes that we really mm. just couldn't help. Oh, right, guys. Okay, Link can't hear me, and we're spinning that first wheel for our first location. Please be good. Please be good. Faldor and Remington. The thing is, I can't mind Rune, but neither can Link. Right, here we go, guys. First location for us. What are we going to get here? <sighs> I'd love Ardoin and Sears. It'd be so good. You know, the magic short bow. What are we going to get? Oh, Relica. We can mine. At least we can mine. There's a furnace and an anvil. So we can make some stuff up. But it's not great. It's not great. It's not a great start. But range seems to be very meta here with the magic short bow. Lumbridge, there's also the bone crossbow. So maybe going full melee is going to be the way to go here. Right, so let's see how long we are going to be in this location for. Oh, the short time of only 20 minutes okay all right okay so i have falador and i definitely think the best thing i can do for only 20 minutes is to start by just mining some addy mining some coal and making addy bars right here we go guys let's uh get ready to start this timer and then we are gonna head on straight on over we we'll do some mining so there we go. There's the timer started. We're doing some mining. I'm really tempted to drop the coins, but I haven't quite done the maths yet in terms of what I need. I know I need four coal to every myth. Now, mithril ore is the best ore here on Relica. Can't go to uh, Natis Nor and Yati, so unfortunately. So uh, we are going to be going for the myth here. Now, I did think about, because there's a keg of beer which heals 15. I thought about just having that and going for a range setup. But the fact I can get myself full mithril here, it just doesn't make sense. A keg of beer reduces your attack by 15 levels, I think it is. And it, it takes like four kegs of beer to get yourself down to zero attack. So we're not going to do that because it would just mean that the rest of where I get ended up in, like in terms of where I get sent next, because I have kegs of beer... I will have I won't have a melee route, you know. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna stick not jump to a PvP world. I'm gonna go for the full mithril armor here. That is the plan. Full myth. Um, we'll go get the coal from over there. And lucky there's a furnace and an anvil. Thinking off the top of my head, the only problem that I can think of with Falador, the only serious problem that is, is that there's no way to get any food. Um, the mining content is massive. Yes, there are rune that you can mine, but like I said before, Link can't do that. So I'm I'm not worried about that. It's just that the first stage, I'm not going to be able to get any food. Right, that's all the coal we need for one inventory. We can make five bars at a time. One of the very few places, I don't, I can't think of what, another one right now off the top of my head that has a furnace and an anvil. <gasps> Where do I get a hammer? Where do I get a hammer? No. Sigmondo, he's the, he's the man who has it. Oh my god, I was about to shit myself there, guys. Oh god. I thought I'd ruined the whole thing. Anyway, as I was saying, not many places have an anvil and a uh, furnace in the same place. So we're going to make all of those. There we go. Boom. 
Not bad, not bad, I'll take it, and we're just going to rinse and repeat this until hopefully we'll have full uh, Mithril. You know, I'm glad I got Faldor first though. I think Faldor at first would have been much better than getting Faldor third, because then I would have to concern myself with getting food, and then if I had food already, it would have been really annoying to mine, because my inventory would have been pretty full with food. Uh, oh, I think that was going to auto-do it. Crap. Um, so yeah, I do think Faldor is a great starting position, and I'm glad I'm getting it now because I could just fill my whole inventory up with ores and just smelt three at a time. Um, I actually need to get a hammer. Crap, I need to smith these. Yeah, definitely want to smith these. You know, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to being in locations with such a short amount of time. I'm coming on my second inventory. Um, I think I can make all three of them here. And um, I'm already 11 minutes in. Oh crap, I'm not gonna be able to. Crap, it's just that the anvil is so far away. Oh, you hate to see it, guys. You hate to see it. All right, so we're going to go in the Dwarven Mines, go to the Anvil, smith these into something. I think I'm going to go with an Adamant Scimitar. I know it's a weird item to go for. Armor probably will be better. The only issue is that since I don't know the next locations I'm going to get, it's so hard to judge what to make. Maybe I could just hold on to the bars, wait to see what location I get next. But then the problem is, what if there's no Anvil? So there's just so many, so many ways to think about doing this. Okay, we are going to go ahead and make plate legs. And we are going to go and get ourselves a Myth Simi as well. I think it's a pretty good weapon, especially for just being after the first area. I'm quite happy with that. 20 minutes in the first area, already have that. I'm more than happy. All right, this might sound kind of silly, guys, but I ultimately decided not to smith the bars, and that is because every location except Lumbridge and Alcarid actually have an anvil that I can use. So depending on the location, I might be able to buy a specific piece of gear. Maybe I can get our dune and I'll go range, and making the scimitar would just be a waste of two bars. I, But then again, I might make less bars just holding on to all these bars, so it... It's tough. It's tough. Because if I smith these, it's a really long walk all the way through the Dwarven Mines. It'll probably take three and a half minutes to walk there. And um, at that point, I could probably squeeze in an extra bar or two after these. So, yeah, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off. Right, after we got this piece of coal, we have enough to make ourselves the shield and the full helm. And that will be everything we need. We've got loads of time to spare. I'm going to have to uh, drop a coal, buy a hammer, because obviously when we uh, when I made the Mithril Scimitar, that then took an inventory space away because I had the uh, the rune pickaxe on. So that was a bit silly, but we can still fix that by just uh, dropping a bit of coal, trading Sigmund, and then uh, coming back to pick up that bit of coal. Is that Sigmund? Yes, it is. Right, let's uh, drop our coal. Sigo, big man. I'll have one of your finest hammers, thank you. And we're going to run on over make four bars, come back for the coal, and that is going to be us with a full mid setup, which is uh, actually, I'm really super satisfied. There we go. And I am going to go a bit sneaky. I'm actually going to keep the hammer just in case we need it. Um, I'm going to go a bit sneaky here, and uh, we're going to trade with Sigmund. And I'm going to go and buy 10 potatoes. I'm going to hop as well, get as many potatoes as possible, because if we do get somewhere where we can churn butter, I know we can churn butter here, but unfortunately we can't cook um, what's it called? We can't cook the potatoes because they have to be cooked on a range. They can't be cooked on a fire and there's no range here. So, uh, I'm just going to walk around with these potatoes. If I don't need them in the next area, I'm just going to drop them. But, uh, you know, there might be the chance that I'll be able to turn these into potato and cheeses or potato and butter or whatever. And, uh, that would be a huge healing food. I'm pretty done, to be honest. I am pretty done here. I didn't mind any extra coal just because I was really scared I wasn't going to have enough time. It turns out I did have plenty of time to mine the coal, so there was no issue there. So let's just melt these two bars, and that's nine Addy bars that I can take to the next location. So hopefully the next location is a pretty good one, and I could determine which combat style I'm going for, and then ultimately smith these bars. Link, can we get a little bit of commentary about that first section, man? Just, how, just overall thoughts. Um... I was very flustered, very flustered. Yeah. But um, you know what? I I wouldn't have wanted more time than I had. That's what I'll say. Yeah. So the twenty minutes was perfect for me. Okay. I don't know. Were you stretched or were you pretty happy? With with my location, I could have gone on longer. But let's just say the longer I would have gone on, the more annoying it would have gotten. 
Right. Let's okay. just let's just say that. Okay. All right. uh, Ultimate Iron Man lifestyle, by the way. Right, guys. Come on. Give me our Dune. Give me our Dune. You kneel in Port Gazard? Um off the top of my head there 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 is an anvil for me to smith although i think the best thing i can go for is is what magic i don't know oh man that's honestly not what i wanted to see right here we go guys i don't know what i want to be honest since we have full myth now i i really don't know what i want so here we go come on varrock and edgeville interesting I don't know if there's anything useful there, but, uh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. The wheel's <laughs> spinning. What are we getting? <sighs> 40 minutes. 40? 40. Oh my God. It did Jesus. it. It did it to us. This, this is a, a hard one, mate. This is a hard one. Dude, say, I'm, I'm kind of like, don't know how I'm going to spend 40 minutes if I'm honest, but. Straight up. Right, guys, we're going to start from the center. So I haven't started yet. Um, we will chuck the time run once I'm ready to go. But I'll just quickly explain the plan. The plan is to cut use, sell you longbows unstrung in here. Try and get enough to buy green dehyde legs, green dehyde vams, and, of course, a rune sword from the Champions Guild. We need about 30k. I don't know if that's going to be doable in the time we've got. If we can't do that, we will just go ahead and buy ourselves a staff and uh, some runes. And we'll have melee to magic. That is the plan. Hopefully we can execute it. I'm going to start the timer. And we are going to get onto this 40 minutes. Now, I don't want these. I don't want these. They're not necessary. So we're dropping them. If we didn't have some lag, we would have dropped them a lot quicker. And we're going to quickly climb upstairs because there is a knife up there, which I have explained in uh, in another episode. Rag actually told me about this. I don't know when it was that he told me about this, but uh, he did. We're also going to drop the hammer just so we've got another space for a U-log. And uh, we're going to help up the U-logs behind the Grand Exchange. Right, guys, you kneel to Port Kazar. Now, this one's tricky. I think the best DPS I could do in, in this location is magic. Only problem with that is you need to make money, and money isn't the easiest thing to make. The only way to make solid amounts of cash are going to be to pickpocket the gnome, guys. And uh, with only 91 thieving, it's going to be pretty hard to actually pickpocket. Um, so right now, I'm just going to make a bunch of uh, Addy stuff to kind of clear up my inventory a little bit. Uh, so we're just going to go with the plate body and um, the adamant helm and a scimitar just so we have an offensive weapon in case this is the best gear I end up getting. Of course, the final location could determine a lot, but I cannot risk it. I just can't. I can't. Right, so I decided to allocate this 40 minutes, at least as long as I need in the 40 minutes, buying potatoes and adding some butter on them to make potatoes with butter. Do they have buckets in here? There's definitely a way to get a bucket. I think there's a bucket spawn by the dairy cow. Um, no, jug. Jug of water? How am I going to get... How am I going to get buckets of milk? Hold on. So my man, Bulkoy, over here sells some buckets. I can't buy the pack, so I'm going to uh, hop and buy two, hop and buy two, and we'll just keep doing that. Um, I'm probably going to get about 10 buckets or so, just so filling up my inventory with a whole bunch of cheese. Sorry, not cheese, with a whole bunch of butter. is going to be pretty easy. So, uh, yeah, going to hop a couple times, get 10, and then head back on over to uh, churn this into butter. There we go. Just taking over six minutes, nearly seven minutes to make ourselves um, a full inventory there. And we're going to fletch them while we run to save as much time as possible. Oh man, I feel like I'm so inefficient. I just left to go fill these up with milk. And then I remembered I can talk to the king and get um, the amulet. The amulet, there it is, the gnome amulet. This is a great necklace. Great necklace. Check out those stat increases. Gives plus 10 in all defense, I think, right? Um, no, even more. Let's just, let's just take this off. Plus 13 to all defense. Yeah, I'll take it. I am going to go ahead. I think I'm going to sell five at a time. I haven't quite decided yet. Just going to have a look at it quickly to see what's worth it. So uh, they're currently going to buy them for two, five, six each. What about now? 160? Oh my god, no. Definitely not. Right. I'm going to be hopping very regularly. Okay, so I'm hopping and selling three to each world. 
And uh, at this rate, I think we will be able to uh, to do it. If I can keep this speed up, I think we'll be able to make the 20k for the rune sword. I think that's the only thing I'm going to be able to go for, unfortunately. I am in two minds of maybe just going... That sell them all? Yeah, cool. I am in two minds of maybe just going for the Addy sword, which is in the shop down there, and then going for the green dehyde legs and vams. Oh, it's a difficult one. I think we're on episode, like, 20-something. So, yeah, I guess you could say we're milking this series pretty, pretty hard. So, all my potatoes have been baked to perfection. And I'm putting the pat of butter on the potato as I go. Just because all my buckets keep dropping to the ground. And I don't want to have to walk all the way back to Bulkoy. So that'll be quite annoying. Yeah, so this is probably the fastest way to go about doing it. Um, I will, however, have to probably do a couple more trips pretty quick inventory there we are just uh cutting along again and we're gonna sell what, three at a time again i wonder whether the stock is depleted yet i would also for anyone thinking just go and talk to toby we're not allowed to use um diary achievement stuff for this i don't know if rugs mentioned that or not but uh yeah we can't use any diaries not bad at all 11 and a half k in 16 minutes we should be good. We need 20 for the uh, for the rune sword. So we're definitely going to get the rune sword. Um, I could also sell them your yeah, Mitsimi, couldn't I? For a little bit of extra cash. Going to go for those green dehyde uh, legs and, of course, the vams. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. So I did just get a decent amount of food. But I decided before I actually fill up an inventory, I probably should focus on mining. There is coal and there is mithril. So I'm probably going to make a mithril kite, mithril plate legs, and uh, then focus on filling up my inventory. There's actually no furnace. So I'm going to have to sell mithril to the shop. Probably, oh, that sells for absolutely nothing. Yeah, I'm going to have to sell mithril to the shop, probably hop a few times, so I can afford some nature runes to uh, superheat these bars. That is the only way I can do it. All right, here we are, 1.5k. That actually took ages to get. Um, let's see. Oh, wow, this is this is, this is is bought out. Um, actually, I, I only need five, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to go to a 2k plus world, and we're going to see if that has any more in stock and hopefully i can get it for a cheaper price let's take a look 180 by five. Oh, that's brilliant that's brilliant i don't think i'll need money for anything else so just buy a bunch of nature runes not nature runes i can't speak i'm not gonna quite do a full inventory here because i do need to come back i've just realized um and I would go to Edgeville now, but because we're only doing one more trip, it's actually not going to be worth it. I do need to come back because I need to make 27k to buy everything I want from the uh, the Champions Guild. So uh, we will need to do one more inventory, I think. Right, that's going to be us done. And if I buy the thingies, I can sell these. I can sell the plate legs off. I can sell that off. We should be able to uh, fetch enough. I forgot I could sell them if I'm going to buy the green dehydes. Let's go, let's go. Come on, buy for a decent price, please. We need 27, 28k to be safe, because I will do want to buy a few things from the Slayer Master as well. I've got five minutes, oh my god. This is getting cut incredibly close. All right, how much do they buy these for, game? Oh, 1k, yes. And 400 coins, beautiful. That should see us through. I hope it does at least. Oh my god, are we going to be just short? Oh my god, I think I'm going to be just short. I am, I'm going to be just short. Fuck. Okay, alright, well, that's the way it goes, isn't it? That is the way the cookie fucking crumbles. We are just short of being able to buy everything. We're going to have to uh, skip the vans, and I'll just buy something from the Slayer store instead. Cool, that actually wasn't too bad. It was pretty quick. Um, I actually need one more bar. I thought it was five, but it's actually six. So I will need to buy one more nature rune, but let's get those plate legs and then yeah I'll need two more for the kite shields so let's swing up buy one nature rune and then go back mine and then uh, come back and smith it and I should have a pretty decent armor setup right, I think I need to trade with both of them oh no just this guy okay let's get the uh, the rune sword and the green dehyde cool we are good to go let's get out of here and back to edgeville i'm gonna stop in with facilia as well and i'm gonna buy myself a cape i don't need anything else because we're gonna buy some boots and a uh some gloves from the slayer master right here we go last coal superheat that awesome let's go make that kite now the really shitty thing about this is that i'm not gonna have enough time to fill my inventory off with food 
but it's not the worst case scenario because I still have one more location that I'm gonna go to and I will need room to work with the supplies in that location. Um, so it's like a bittersweet thing. Of course, I could get a really shitty location and it would have been better to get food. But again, it's just one of those things where you don't know until you actually get the location. But there is that mithril kite shield. So I guess what we're just hoping for is that um, he doesn't go magic. We got a combination of Addy and Myth, Addy Scimitar, and half an inventory of food. Um, so I do think this probably is so far the best I could have done with the locations given. Let's trade with Crystalia and I would like some insulated boots and some Slayer gloves. There we go guys, that is our setup from this area. I'm, I'm gonna have to rely on the next area to give me food. I really am. We're going in with 1.3k, which is nice, but uh, you know, we're filling all the slots. We're getting there, we're getting there. Right, Link, are you ready for the last location? Yes. Oh yes. my god. A lot's on this one, mate. It A lot is. is on this one. It really is. I could tell by your voice that you're not too thrilled <laughs> on that last 40 minutes. <laughs> no, so, definitely uh, not. Last time, guys, let's hope it's a good one. Lumbridge and Alcarid. I think we can work with this one. We definitely can devise some sort of really good plan and come up on top. Right, here we go, guys. The last, we need food. We need something that's going to give me food, please. Oh my god, Fad on Remington. Can I get food there? All right, so this final location, we are going to spend... <laughs> How long? <laughs> 40 minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, dear. You love to see it. Oh, you love man. to see it. Just getting myself to the location, but literally, because Port Sarim is in this uh, in this category, I can't get the potatoes from there, which would mean I could use the dairy churn and the milk from the cows there, and I could make myself potato and cheeses, and we'd have loads of health. Unfortunately, there's no way to get potatoes. So I am going to probably end up just killing cows. <sighs> And that's going to be uh, that's going to be our food. Anyway, let's start this challenge. I'm going to head on over and use my pickaxe down at the motherload mine. Let's uh, get this timer started, and we'll go. Here we go, guys. The time has started, and I have a pretty solid game plan that I'm going to go for. Not going to do anything too crazy. I do think I got really lucky on this last one because food will be really easy to get as long as they have some money. So I'm gonna start off first by getting leather, tanning it, getting studs, attaching it so I can get some studded, and then going underneath Lumbridge and buying a bone crossbow. I'm already running past the Lumbridge field. What am I doing? So yeah, let's tan that leather. Now I'm pretty sure because of my mining level, I can't actually get Rune. I think there's a very small chance I get Addy. So uh, maybe if we can get some Addy upgrades, that'd be really nice. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's not looking too good for us on this challenge, guys. What's the most annoying part is I had all those potatoes in my inventory. But the uh, obviously, we couldn't keep them for the uh, for the Varrock part of this because we needed to make the money in Varrock. If it had come the other way around, if we'd got Varrock, then Relica, and then this, it would have come off perfectly. That potato play would have been perfect. It just hasn't happened for us. Not that long at all. Probably like two and a half minutes to get that whole inventory, which is uh, really, really quick. We need coal, and I really want to see some Addy. It'd be beautiful if we could uh, just piece something together, you know? Let's have a look, and uh, we will go ahead and put this on. Put these in there, and we'll grab a hammer out of here. Cool. I'm probably going to drop that for now. I don't feel like I need that. Uh, let's fix this and let's see what we're going to get. Might as well fix the other one. No XP waste and all that stuff. Fix it. There we go. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Bam. Oh, we got some Addy. Oh, sick. And gold. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I totally realized that there's no way to get to a anvil in Lumbridge and in Alcarid. It's not the same exact Lumbridge that we're doing as we did in the Lumbridge only. That's only because we have Alcarid in here as well. So, you know, Drainer is its own place. Uh, but yeah, crap. So what I did, why am I in this tent? Did not mean to walk in there. So I just made a hard leather body and some leather chaps. Um, definitely not the greatest. But if he does try to throw some magic at me, I mean, 
<laughs> plus six magic defense it, it's something it's something and you know it probably gives some range attack make one of those bars it's just hit me that there is actually um addy rocks down in the dwarven mine so i'm just gonna mine addy there's no point because i can't get rune at first i thought maybe i could get rune but i looked into it i can't get rune so we might as well just do that and i'm gonna sell these here but i don't think i probably should i probably should be selling them uh downstairs but that's what we're going to do. We're going to go down to the Dwarven Mine because then we can just mine the Addy. Easy as that. I still want to know who dropped this knife back here. I'm convinced it's some murder weapon. You know, he threw it over the fence after he stabbed somebody with it. The next part of my plan involves getting a lot of coins. And I think the fastest way to do that right now is to simply chop use, cut it into U longbows unstrung and selling it to the general store. Probably will take a while because I obviously don't have much inventory space to work with, but... We got to work with what we got. Okay, yeah, this is going to be pretty easy to uh, get some sets together. I think I was thinking go range and try and, you know, maybe he goes magic. But at the end of the day, even if he goes magic and I'm in this armor, he's going to rip me apart. What I need to do is be as tanky as possible. So I'm going to replace these bits with Addy armor. And that's what we're going to go for. Okay, sick. We've got our Addy full helm now. It's so useful having that anvil right there. So, so nice. Um, we got our full helm now. I'll probably go on and sell that myth full helm because um, we're not going to need it. And uh, I left a couple of bars because I do want to make the, uh, the plate body now. All right, here's another inventory. 20 minutes coming up. So we're halfway through. Honestly, it's just the food situation. Other than that, I'm actually really happy with what we've got together. But the food situation just uh, has totally fucked us, unfortunately. I'm trying to think of ways right now, but I cannot think of any way of getting stuff. I had a look, and fucking Sarah, in her little shop here, she has potatoes in there, but she has none in stock. I'm so angry. I don't know whether I'm going to bring knives with me. Because I'm going to have bloody beef. So I might as well bring knives. Like, I've got 20 minutes to get beef. Totally just got a bird's nest, as you see down below, and opened it up. And a uh, sapphire ring. I feel like I'm being taunted um, for that recoil. But I don't think there's any way I'm realistically going to get a cosmic rune to enchant that. So, uh, unfortunate news. But if we take a look at how much cash we have, 25 minutes in... And uh, this should get us right to about 10k. So we're going to go on a mild shopping spree after we sell this to the shop. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know what I get. Hey guys, I just wanted to say real quick in the middle of the video that if you are enjoying the video, consider hitting that subscribe button. It is the best way to show the support for the series. And you guys have been showing so much of that love over the past couple months. I am getting close to that 50,000 subscriber goal. And it is all because of you guys. So thank you so much. And consider hitting that button if you are enjoying the content. But anyways, let's get back to the video. First thing we are getting. This might be a little revenge on Link. But uh, I definitely want to go for those rune gloves. It's like 6k. But uh, the upgrades are just so freaking massive. So uh, yeah, super satisfied with that purchase. Now it's on to the tunnels. But I think uh, I'll actually need to get a light source first. Yes, almost almost made that mistake. Luckily, we can get one in the Lumbridge Swamp. So that's not too much of an issue. I have like 15, no, 14, no. Wow, I really can't count. I'm going to count one. I should totally be able to figure that out much quicker. Um, I have 13 minutes to pretty much do all this. So I'm really not that stressed. There we go, we got ourselves the Addy Kite. Let's run on past through here. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna go for knives and then leave like five minutes at the end to get ourselves all of the raw beef and then cook it up. Here we go, candle seller. This guy knows how to make money. He's got a monopoly in all of freaking Lumbridge selling candles for 1,000 coins, robs people, but uh, cool, I got eight minutes. I think I'm gonna do one more trip of seven U logs, cut them, and then go buy everything I need. Cause I also need to get food, I forgot about that. But I still believe I have plenty of time. Right, I've totally changed my mind. I thought I've got enough to make Addy legs. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and make Addy legs. I'm just gonna turn up in the full Addy, be tanky as hell and hope he's gone range. That's all we can do. Hope he's got bad food and <sighs> That's what we've got, guys. Oh, God. Are we going to get anything from this? Nope. Good hit, though. Right. Here we go. Here we go. Um, now, I did think about getting frog leather, but I think in Dorgish Khan, that's just, you know, wouldn't be considered lumberage anymore. But here we go. Oh, it's only 2K? This whole time, I thought it was actually 3K. 
Um, and these are just so stupidly cheap. Okay, great. So we still have 2.6k and four minutes to buy food. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is this is sweet. Heck yeah. Right, I've got like four minutes to slaughter enough cows and then cook it. Fuck, this is going to be close. Here we go. We got everything we need. Um, so we got uh, cheese. Do I just add cheese on top like this? I do. Okay, that's really simple. So the first, not the bank. Where? Am, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? So the first thing I'm gonna do is buy food. Uh, here we go. Yes, perfect. Um, just do it like this. Fill all these with cheese, and then buy some potatoes from here. Add the butter and add the cheese. You guys know the drill. Okay, that's gonna be me out. Fuck, we didn't even get full inventory. Oh well, this is shit food. Uh, gonna go ahead and cook this all up just up here. Oh, I probably could have stayed and done a few more. But I didn't want to risk it, guys. Two minutes? Fuck, I could have done... I could have easily done that. God, I'm an idiot. I think I just come over here, right? Yeah, it's as simple as putting it in the jug, just like that. Okay, so making wines is incredibly, incredibly easy. I dropped these over here so I can quickly just throw them in as I uh, filled these with water. So, oh, not that. Here we go. Uh, right, so how many more do I need? Crap, I need, I need two more. I need two more, right. Oh, I got one on the ground. There we go, guys. Sort of happy I left it a little bit early because actually that did take quite a while. That's the final product, guys. Hopefully, hopefully he's got shit food. Maybe he's only got like eight bits of food or something. I don't know. We'll see. This is going to be a tough one. Oh, man. Okay. All right, well, see, the thing with this setup is that... These juggle wines lower your attack level only by one, but I do have range to fall back on. So it was some last minute planning that I had to just squeeze together. I definitely think it's worth having those spots filled up with food though. So um, I'm very excited to see all the gear Link has in the allotted time. The gear reveal. Now this could go in so many directions. I just, <sighs> I mean, I, I'm so excited to just hop right into it. Cause I mean, I, you could have gotten any combination, so... You sound very, very, very confident, so I'm not feeling too great here. Oh, man. Right, do you want to pick the first item? <sighs> <laughs> There's that, that. That was the longest sigh yet. Okay, all right. Weapon. Let's just see what, Weapon. what, what direction you're going for here. He's just, he's just saying, you know, big guns right up top. <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh, is that a rune okay. sword? It is a rune sword, yeah. Oh, man, I think that's better. Yeah, it is. It is. All right. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Um, oh, God. I'm going to go shield. Okay. Shield. Oh. <sighs> okay. Crap. Okay. This Here's the downfall. So Here's the downfall. This is good so far. All right, here comes the room full helm. Full uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you've got one in this episode, I'm going to be fuming. I don't know. Are you picking helm slot? I'm picking helm. Guys. You're picking helm? Well, I got runes, uh, lesser brother, man. Ooh, same. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, my God. Interesting. Okay. Interesting stuff, man. <laughs> oh. Dang, I'm actually getting a little nervous now. I was feeling kind of <laughs> good. Uh, right, um, legs. It's gonna be Addy. He's got Addy legs. Boom. He's got Addy legs too. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Uh, uh, body. Addy plate. <sighs> Man's an Addy tank right now. Um, then I got a cape. I don't know if you got one. I didn't, no. Nope. Um, boots? I didn't, no. Nope. Okay. Um, gloves? I did get some gloves. Oh, you got Lumbridge, didn't you? I you did Lumbridge. get Lumbridge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. And, Man's got me. And I also got Yanil. So that cheeky oh, little bling God. bling wrapped around my neck. <laughs> Um, and my other location was Falador. I got Fally, Yanil, and then Lumbridge. I got Relica, Varrock, Falador. Oh, wow. 
I so that's horrible. where the Addy came from. Horrible. Horrible. Yeah. Oh man, your food situation cannot be good. It's fucked, mate. Come on out here and, and show me what the fuck you've got. <laughs> right. Um I mean, you probably know what's coming because I fucked on the other <laughs> I'm so angry. I'm actually angry. Because do you know what I did? <laughs> what so did I had Relica, and there's potatoes in Relica. And I said, I bought a full inventory of potatoes saying, we might need these for the next one. I got Varrock and had to drop them all. And then I was in Falador, where I can churn butter. I can make the fucking potato and cheeses, but oh, it just came out in the wrong order. Oh, man. So you're saying if you had Fally first, you would have made that food... And then you could have mined for days in Varrock. Oh, oh I'm, angry, mate. I'm so angry. Like that, there, there was no way I could get good food together. If that makes sense. Hey guys, if you are enjoying this video, there's a link down in the description and a playlist in the top right hand corner. And you can find Link's video that went live the exact same time this one did. In that video, we did specific tasks after spinning a wheel, and we actually switched the loot at the end, and we got to keep one special item from all the loot. So the episode was pretty crazy to say mm -hmm. and uh it's definitely worth the check out i don't think the bone crossbow is the way to go i thought you might have one but i, I mean i mean way. look man look man unless <laughs> you pull the really snaky move on me which actually you couldn't because we're technically ultimate iron man so yeah i mean i'm just experimenting right now you know yeah fair all right i like it i'll uh i'm gonna hit you yeah oh, there's the skull yes. oh, oh god oh god I don't think oh, that's the way. You, you know what? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> that was my plan. It was like I think he's going to go range because of Sears and the bone crossbow. I was like, I'm just going to be as tanky as possible. Yeah. Uh. I mean, dude, you're full Addy. That's definitely the best tank gear out of all the locations that you could have gotten. And yeah. that weapon you got is probably the best weapon for melee as well. Dude, I feel like I played really well. The food just let me down. I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, so let's quickly go over the locations where food was viable. So you had Yanil. You had yeah. Lumbridge. Draenor. I'm, uh, Ardun with the Legends Port, Guild. Port Sarim. Port Sarim. Wow, so you, you just... You know, I just, just got super unlucky, man. Just, just wasn't there. Wow, you, dude, you're actually doing so much better, man. Oh yeah, the actual gear setup's good. Oh fuck! Oh fuck. no! This is the oh. problem. This is the, <laughs> this is the oh, downfall. No. I'm so angry. You know, people say Rarg always oh, goes god. melee, so I'm sorry, Link, <laughs> but I have to get this kill with range. <laughs> oh god! Right, come on! No, 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 no! Come no, on! No, let's, no, no, let's no, not like this. Let's it's just actually going quite well. Let's just take him out of his misery. Come on! <laughs> come on! Do... Oh. <laughs> oh my god i can't believe that i cannot believe that yo that's i'm so fuming damn yeah bro. dude i just got super unlucky like none of my locations had good food on their own and that is going to conclude this week's PvP challenge. If you haven't seen all the episodes, make sure you check them out. They all have their own unique twist or unique area involved in them. And they all have something different to offer. Make sure to subscribe to my boy Link's Ocarina as well. He's a very uh, swell lad. It's like 5 a.m. right now to film this episode. So uh, throw him some love. Link, oh, you, cheers, mate. you got anything before I uh, hit that end record button? I'm going to uh, hit the bed is what I'm going to do. But, Fair uh, enough, you know. Man. It's uh it's always a pleasure making these videos for everyone. Awesome man. And uh I will see you in the next one.